Hey there, Clashers, it is your host, Galadon, and you are watching Clash of Clans Attacks, the 11th episode of the Let's Play Together series, sponsored by Feature Points. And I know a lot of you guys have already downloaded Feature Points. Use that referral code, Galadon. Now is a fantastic time to go back into your Feature Points app and download some more free apps. That is exactly what keeps this series going. So let's get right down to it. We are talking about Town Hall 7. We are doing War Attacks, and this is Galadon's second attack of the war, pretty similar to my first First, I went after a Town Hall 7 with almost the same troop composition the first time, 3 starred that base, so I decided to go for a slightly harder target here. Although this is a Town Hall 8, you can see that third air defense is kind of an afterthought. It's probably upgrading in his regular village, so he left it on the outside unintentionally. It is not going to do much there, and so we are going to do our best to eradicate two of the three air defenses before we put any of the dragons down. And I've brought about 40 little guys, barbarians and archers. We've activated the clan castle, and now I'm using the barbs to angle the clan castle troops out, gradually one at a time, dropping the barbarians, trying to get the clan castle troops to stop right over the air defense. Perfect, there we are. Three lightning spells dropped on that air defense is going to take out the air defense and all of the clan castle troops at the same time. And now we can focus on the other air defense, but first I'm going to drop a few barbarians on these outside structures that are far enough away from defenses that uh, they won't stop them. We don't want to end up at 98-99% because we ran out of time when there was a builder's hut in the corner. So we are going to leave those units to finish their job around the edges. We're going to focus on this second air defense. Just drop a small pack of archers. Not going to be an issue with the Tesla. They're going to target it first. It is down and now it is dragon time. We've got the clan castle dragon. Eight other dragons coming in at the top half of the screen. We have a few archers that we're going to sprinkle around at the bottom. We're going to drop the uh, Barbarian King down here also. And now it's just pretty much autopilot. We're going to watch the dragons ravage this village. They're going to get to that air defense early, and there's a pretty tight pack of them, so it won't be a problem to get that air defense out of the way. Once it's down, it's really not going to be an issue to uh, achieve three stars every single time with this many dragons. It's just a matter of not running out of time, not spending too much time deploying troops or taking out the clan castle early. The dragons do move slowly, but there is nothing really to slow them down. Just an overpowered unit at Town Hall 7 and a three-star victory for full attack. So we are just about six hours into this clan war and we have a 37 star lead despite the fact that we've only used five more attacks than our opponent. And we're going to move on to another mass dragon attack by Aura of Full Attack. Again, just showing how powerful it is to have mass dragons in Town Hall 7. If you can spend the time to train them up, save up that elixir before the clan war, uh, it is almost always going to be a three star victory. You can see here Aura has brought two rage spells and a heal spell. And that actually works out very well for this village layout because you can see how lopsided the air defenses are. And so once those air defenses are down, again, nothing to slow down the dragons. So these rage spells accelerating the dragons closer to those air defenses. This one works out really well. Gets that bottom pack of dragons over an air defense and actually ends up catching the dragons at the top of your screen in it as well. So they accelerate forward. The heal spell, uh, not probably really that critical, but it did serve to keep one dragon up while another one took out the air defense behind it. And now finally, the last rage spell goes down right by the town hall. And again, just imagine matter of time these dragons are going to burn everything down to the ground and it'll be another total damage three-star victory for Aura and full attack. So next we will move on to another attack replay. Now it is Quilty in action for full attack, showing that there are other attack styles for Town Hall 7, but it really is a good air attack time uh, during Clash of Clans at Town Hall 7, because now you may have remembered how I talked about how fragile those balloons were at level one and level two. Uh, you can see they're really coming into their own here at level four at Town Hall 7. Uh, they're doing a lot more damage. They're lasting longer in the air as well. And uh, Quilty is very wisely though, brought out the clan castle troops to take them out because they are much more dangerous, a pack of archers like this, to balloons than they would be, say, to dragons. Uh, but Quilty has a dragon of his own out of his clan castle, and that is going to take care of those archers. Here come the balloons at the top of your screen moving in. The first raid spell goes down. Great placement actually catches two-thirds of the balloons, uh, accelerating them in, takes out that air defense. Heal spell over where the uh, wizard tower is, and that will help keep those balloons up despite the splash damage. The ones on the right are going to have a little bit harder time of it. They are going down. Will they get that wizard tower out of the way in time? Last balloons, and yes, they do eliminate the last wizard tower. And again, 
All of the air defenses, all the wizard towers are history. There is almost nothing to stop this attack. A beautiful placement, very, very artistic placement of minions at the top of your screen. They almost look like every single one was equally spaced out there. And uh, they're really going to help clear out all those other structures. The dragon's still working at the bottom. A few miscellaneous archers. Uh, probably doesn't even really need the barbarian king that is lying in the uh, wings waiting to help out. Those minions are going to go to town on the rest of this village. Everybody closing in on the outer structures first, and then it looks like they are going to head towards the town hall. And sure enough, here come the balloons and the dragon headed for that town hall about the same time that the minions on the left finish off that last gold storage. Clan castle down, there goes the town hall in a fiery mess, and the last structures, and yes, it's another three-star attack for full attack. So we are having a lot of fun at Town Hall 7, uh, definitely some great opportunities for three-star attacks and war, even on Town Hall 8. But let me know what you guys would like to see. I'm going to be at Town Hall 7 for a while because I want to max everything out before I move on, including all the walls and, of course, getting that Barbarian King to level 5. So I'm open to suggestions. Again, if you haven't had a chance to download feature points, please do and use the referral code Galadon and download at least a couple of apps and play them for a couple of minutes each. Or if you already have, go download a few extra apps. Let me know in the comments if you have. We've got giveaways going on constantly. Thank you guys again for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galadon. Total damage is my catchphrase. You may not use it.